Hello everybody, just going to do a collection update, going to start with the European sword collection and go through the line so I have a record of them and then I'll do a Asian sword collection. So right here we've got an arming sword, I believe a uh, Norman style, probably 12th century, 13th century, I could be wrong, sorry if I'm wrong, good sword, got it from Sword Buyer's Guide. Next up, this is Dark Sword Armory's Herald series, so their cheapo line, but it, it's still a great sword. The hilt is awesome with that uh, quarter wire wrap right here, twisted pommel, hollow ground blade, great polish on that blade. There we go. You can really see the hollow grind, and the cross guard is really nice. It's a very stiff blade because of the profile, the geometry. Um, great thrusting blade, not so great at cutting. Then we've got one of my favorite long swords to cut with. This is the long sword from uh, Ronin Katana. This is their Euro Model 2. It's about, I think it's 46 inches long. It handles great. Fit and finish is, is acceptable. Blade geometry is great. Um, sharpening, not the best, but it comes sharp enough and the geometry helps with cutting. Just a standard wheel pommel. Um, cross guards pretty simple nothing really right home about aesthetically but great sword this is uh from baylor arms this is another long sword the fuller on this one goes up a lot higher this one almost to the end little diamond cross section up at the tip there uh this is from baylor arms fit and finish is i'm not going to say much because i got it uh dent and scratch but baylor arms wanted to try them out they have affordable swords this one, I think the tempering might be a little off. I could be wrong, but the it's it's really flexible. But it does cut, and it's it's a joy to handle. I think it's 2.4 pounds, so 46 inches as well, or 45 and a half. This is the Irish bastard, Irish longsword from Legacy Arms. Um, these Legacy solid built swords, but the blade geometry isn't great. There's not a lot of profile taper. There's no distal taper. You can't really make that out. But it's a fun sword to whack around. Definitely harder targets for all Legacy Arms. That's what they're for, really. Tatami, not so much. Um, the hilt is awesome. Standard, that Irish pommel is great. And I just like everything about that hilt. That's why I bought it. Next up, this is the Rhinelander from Hanway. The Bastard Sword. Really nice looking ring guard on the hilt. Um, wasted grip here. It's uh, not the greatest finish on the blade, but it handles really well. It's definitely fun to work out with. Another Legacy Arms, this is the uh, Knight's Templar Sword. I think this is an older version, and it's fun to cut with. Let me get so you can see that. It is. It handles like a crowbar, to be honest. It's It's a good sword to swing around before you grab a, a really well-made long sword to play with. Um, but it was one of my first swords, and it can take down a tree, that's for sure. And it hasn't taken much damage, although I've been thumbing a lot of these, and you can make out some rust in this area here. But anyway, last one, last but not least, the Hanway. Let's just lay it right on here. This is the Hanway Claymore, the antiqued version really aesthetically pleasing. It's about, I think it's a 56 inch sword. Uh, decent edge. And it's a big bad cutter. And that is it for the Euro collection. Up next, Asian swords. Thank you and stay sharp.